Hi, my name is Berber Kramer and I'm a Senior Research Fellow in the Markets, Trade and Institutions Division of the International Food Policy Research Institute, or IFPRI. I'm an economist and most of my research focuses on the behavioural change that is needed to create longer lasting, stronger impacts of innovations and new technologies such as improved seeds. For instance, some of my former research has looked at how one can incentivize input sellers to provide higher quality products and how in turn to improve farmers' trust that input sellers are indeed providing high quality products. And hopefully next year I start working on a new proposed initiative that will provide market intelligence on how breeding investments can have a larger impact, focusing not only on productivity but also on impacts such as poverty reduction, climate adaptation and gender equity. To me, being gender transformative means that we're fixing gender inequities in the system by making sure that women and men have both equal access to resources, but also equal opportunities. And this is not easy. It requires changing underlying norms, decision-making processes, the way that information is processed, and laws that have resulted in these inequities. And it requires understanding that we need to look beyond whether someone is a man or a woman. Inequities are often the result of a combination of factors, including someone's age, social class, ethnicity or caste. So what I see as gender transformative research then is research that helps fix these inequities and research that documents to what extent and how the innovations, programs or policies that we're studying are indeed gender transformative. Yeah, so I'm really excited about the proposed market intelligence initiative that I plan to start working on next year, um, because through the initiative, we're hoping to change the way in which breeding investments are prioritized. The CGIR has traditionally done a lot of breeding work and these investments in breeding have had large impacts on poverty reduction. But decision makers have never really systematically considered how a given breeding pipeline might affect social inclusion and gender equity. In our new proposed initiative, instead of focusing on what the possible return on investment might be for a new breeding pipeline, we aim to quantify the impacts in investing in a particular breeding pipeline on a range of indicators before the investments are made. And these indicators will include not only poverty reduction, but also nutrition, climate adaptation, environmental health, and really importantly, gender, inequi gender equity. Our goal is to develop a dashboard on which donors and other investors can see what impact their investments will have in these different areas and this can guide them in their decision making. For instance, investors who would like to prioritize poverty reduction can still be doing so. But those who find gender equity important will now have information on which investments will give them the biggest bang for their buck in terms of advancing gender equity. Well, that's a good question. Um, we still have to start the initiative. Um, the proposal is currently under review. But once we're getting started, I'm hoping to see that this is going to change the way that decision makers prioritize their investments. We envision that just by seeing the potential impacts of their investments in breeding on gender equity, investors will start paying more attention to how they can contribute to advancing gender equity. So in this way, we are really trying to fix an inequity in the system. Um, this is something that we will then also measure, for instance, by tracking how that dashboard that donors use um, is actually being uh, tracked and, and used by donors and which indicators or impact areas they are prioritizing in their decision making. For instance, whether the dashboard helps them indeed focus more on gender equity as opposed to productivity improvements and poverty reduction. 
we will then also be able to see to what extent this change in investment prioritization is impacting gender equity and equality in the end. Well, I think it is extremely important to embed gender transformative approaches in international agricultural research for development. In the past, um, such research, including the great breeding work that has been undertaken within the CGR, has really focused a lot on improving productivity and quantifying to what extent it has been reducing poverty. Um, and although the CGIR has had impacts in these areas, very little attention has actually been paid to the distribution of those impacts. See it as a pie. So far, the CGIR has really focused on increasing the size of the pie. But if a large share of that pie is going to people who were already better off in the first place, then all those efforts are only increasing gaps and only increasing inequities, for instance, between women and men. Gender transformative research is really needed in order to change how that pie is divided. And to really improve gender equity, we really need more of that type of work.